Hello and welcome once again to Transformers Review Offs. If you're paying attention, I'm still wearing the same shirt because I'm doing these all at once. Today, I will be taking a look at Prime Wheeljack and Prime Cliffjumper. It's Wheeljack. I love what they did to him in the show. I mean, yeah, he's kind of not Wheeljack because he's not a scientist or whatever, but turning him into a wrecker, he's totally awesome. And he comes with swords. And swords are completely fucking sweet. Any robot with swords is a good robot in my book. Wheeljack looks fantastic. You remember when I talked about RTS Perceptor and, and the whole his shoulders are not connected to his torso? Wheeljack's actually got that going on, but he's got it in such a way that it doesn't look like it, which is very nice. But yeah, they're actually articulated in the middle of the upper arm. His mouth plate, of course, is fixed. He's very poseable, and, and he's got fairly large feet, which means he has a pretty good center of balance. I've been able to pose him in some fairly decent action poses before. The swords are actually really cool because not only can he hold them obviously, you can plug them in up here which is good for when he's in car mode as well. You also have storage up on his shoulders which I only just learned about. That's really exciting. I just I, I love the hell out of that. That is a really fantastic design element. It's very simple but it's like they had a lot to line up. It is also worth noting that the two spikes on his shoulders are perfect for holding a Pegasus pony. Cliff Jumper. I actually like what they did with Cliff Jumper too. I mean, he's the rock, he's got horns, he's big and he's buff and he kills evils. That said, the the toy is slightly disappointing. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that now. It's slightly disappointing. Now this again is not a first edition Cliff Jumper. Uh, I've been told that that's actually a lot better, but I haven't had a chance to play with one yet. But he's got you know he's got a, a Decepticon killing grimace. He's got his his horns. He's got this big ass hammer thing, which, you know, I respect a robot with a giant hammer. Interestingly, too, it also flips around and doubles as a blaster, if you can believe that. There's not a whole lot to say about him. He does have the door panel arms, although his are a little bit more paneled than most. There's actually a panel on the underside. I was looking at a Viacon recently, and that's just got a door panel. And it's like, Ugh. His arms, on the other hand, are really ridiculous because this. This is all one piece, and then he's got one, two, three joints all in a in a tight location here, and it's like he's all forearm, and it looks silly. There are further disappointments down the road, so let's prepare for that. Wheeljack gets a point. Transformation. Wheeljack is an absolute joy to transform. I absolutely love this. His hand is actually on a swivel, and when you pull it up, the window goes into place. He doesn't have a dramatic head reveal. I'm not really sure why. I'll tell you one thing I really love is the way his arms are set up because they sort of telescope out and then you just right back in like that. And that fills me with joy for some reason. I, I don't really know why. One thing to remember is that you do need to transform his legs first and put them into his body before you do the arms. The arms hold everything in place. Now his feet are really interesting and every time I do this I cannot remember how they actually work because this just kind of looks like you know you kind of think that you know how it's going to go but that's not how it goes you turn that sideways flip this around looks like I actually remembered this time push that down and link them together that's half the front of the car and I just oh, I love that it's not often that transformers really surprise me anymore so you know when something like that comes around it's like yeah I'll take some more of that please and of course he he snaps together very nicely his panels are easy to deal with for the most part the one thing that confounds me is his hands I'm not quite certain where they're supposed to go so I just sort of smash them in until everything snaps together and let God sort it out. Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper does have a dramatic head reveal, uh, which I actually really like. He does. I love that. That's about the only part of his transformation I actually enjoy, however. His arms are such a pain. Uh, terrible. See now, like, I've just done the first thing and all you've got is this large door panel that is like I said, it's fairly thin in spots, at least in comparison to what I'm used to from uh, official Transformers toys. It's not quite knockoff grade, and then you have to figure out how the fuck these things fit together. Weird angles around his shoulders. I don't know what I'm doing. He doesn't do what you expect him to, but not in a good way. It's very frustrating sometimes. 
and it's all about his arms, because the rest of it is easy. Smoosh his head down, and then it's just sort of a matter of moving things around until you can line up the two halves of the front, which uh, is easier said than done. I know that his shoulders go at a weird angle, like they don't lay flat or anything. I'm making myself dizzy here. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. What is your major malfunction? When I killed Cliff Jumper, I tore his fucking arms off because... I hate them. <laughs> Gotta lead with the door arms and not the shoulder headlights. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got it. So, easy part. And this is kind of neat because, like, the, uh, the little pipes on the outside of his feet actually end up being visible as part of everything when it's done. I went and said that this was easy and then it's gonna make a liar out of me. Alright. Wheeljack wins. Car modes! This is beautiful. I really like this because it's very futuristic. It looks like Wheeljack. It's got his markings correct. And it's even got that, that dark gray back panel, which G1 Wheeljack always had. But this is a very, very nice looking car. Now, remember when I said that we had not yet seen the goofy use of accessories in vehicle mode? This is what I was talking about. Meet the saber-toothed car. But like Ratchet, Wheeljack of course has the holes back here, probably again for using someone else's weapons since they're all interchangeable. I do like putting them on here and then like flipping them around and I could see like if he was in some kind of race, uh, he'd be like drifting back and forth and slicing through guys. Also like Ratchet, he has weapon storage down here. It's very handy, very nice, love it, boom. Cliff Jumper is actually also a pretty nice car. I mean. Th this kind of car is very cool. But then you turn it over and you notice he's got a fake hood chest and that's that's really disappointing. I'm like, geez, come on. You also notice that his head's down there and it's got the horns which are up here. It's like, come on. Neat though is you can pop the hood and it doesn't look like an engine at all but robots. His hammer sticks in the top of the car and he's only got the one port unfortunately and no weapon storage because he's got a gun. That's kind of a running theme, I think. So, Wheeljack has a clean sweep, just because I don't like Solid Red all that much. Alright, tune in next time when I have more Prime.